Johnson drives right baseline underneath the hoop, takes it out, bounces to pick roll, her three. Nailed it! From the left wing and the foul. Now drives in and she can't get the hook shot to fall. Now Johnson the other way. Quickly into the, inside the perimeter and she bounces it to Thomas who banks it in off the glass and goes down hard afterwards. Over at pass to Johnson, who takes it up into the front court. Now two on one. Johnson, no look pass to Bell. Underneath the hoop, trying to get rid of it, and she does. Pickrell tries the three. That's good! Pickrell with a new career high. She's got 21, and it ends the 7-0 Northwestern run. And there's the buzzer. The Spartans come from behind today and win 67-62 over the Northwestern Wildcats and snap a two-game losing streak. Courtney Schiffauer, one of the most improved players perhaps in the entire conference, out for the season, tore her ACL in practice the other day. And just a huge loss for Michigan State was their leading scorer, rebounder, and assist person in the early going. When I came on my visit, my parents and I really got along with the players and the staff, and they really made it feel like home, and that was a big thing for my mom at least, just feeling like I was safe wherever I was. The atmosphere, obviously the football games and the fans is crazy, so I knew coming in that they had a lot of support for women's basketball. You know, from a standpoint of a coach, what maybe doesn't make a stat, she, she brings so much energy and toughness to our team that um, it does carry over, and, and she's really done an amazing job of um, using her skill set and her toughness and sharing that with the rest of the team and, and putting an expectation that, that this is BCS basketball, you better be tough. I'm not the player on the floor with like obviously like the most talent or scoring the most points, but I think after the game is over, the other team definitely hates playing against me. She uh, bordered extremely competitive to at times raging, and as she got older, she changed the rage piece to the competitive piece, but she walks a fine line every game with that, and that's where I said I think her maturity has, has come along, but you need a tough guy. You need the tough guy on your team, and everybody has one. And she's it for us, and I think she's done a really good job of, of using her skill and talent, coupled with probably the most important thing she brings, and that's the toughness. Wow, that's a great move by Schiffauer. I was undecided, and then I changed to elementary ed my sophomore year. I like teaching. I like the feeling of somebody like getting what you're telling them to do. So, And I get along with little kids. When I was working in the classrooms the past couple years, um, watching my mentor teachers, they just, the kids, especially the younger kids, that's why I like the young kids, they just love the teacher, they look up to them. So um, I'm looking forward to be able to be that person to help them grow up. I think Courtney Schiffer will make an amazing teacher. I mean, she just loves little kids. You can see she draws a lot of energy and enthusiasm and I mean, she's beautiful, she's smart, but most importantly she just does a great job of connecting with people and she really enjoys the young kids and when you come to camp and she is the camp favorite, everybody wants to be on Courtney's team and she can't go to lunch, go to work out without you know little groups of you know second and third graders running around chasing after her. I guess the biggest thing I've learned is well, when I came here, everything in my life was pretty much basketball related. Um, everything I did was basketball, and I think coming here, not that that changed a lot, but it made me realize that um, basketball doesn't define who I am. There's other aspects to me that make me who I am. It's our game, right? Our territory. Let's go. Let's go. Take it, you guys. Let's go. Take it, take it, take it. Team three, one, two, three. Take. The fact that we were able to have such a great turnout for a Monday night game, one, it was Michigan, certainly, but the, the most important thing, too, that it was bigger than just a basketball game when, when it's our pink game and all the research and the awareness and the financial gains that come from playing in those games certainly means a lot to our entire community because many of those funds uh, go directly here to support many women who are battling cancer and breast cancer in particular. Blad on the right wing, overhead pass down low, and it's picked off by Schiffauer with 15 seconds to go in the first half. Thomas drives from the left side, goes up and banks it in! Jasmine Thomas able to take it off the bounce again. Johnson dribbles to the top of the key, Spartans on the possession. 
Overhead pass to Mills on the right block. Trying to back it down. Turns around and shoots to the middle. Layton knocks it down. Nine points for Becca Mills off the bench. Clarissa Bell, chest pass, shift power, her three. Bring it up. Gata Johnson quickly into the front court, slows it down at the top of the key, handoff, shift power, down low, Mills, backs it down, spins up with the left hand, banks it in, and she's headed to the line. The Wolverines now have lost 12 consecutive games against the Spartans. And this senior class for Michigan will have just one more shot to try to beat the Spartans. If they don't, they will go their entire career without knocking off Michigan State. They do not get a lot of They do not be a the process for scouting a team involves watching a ton of film, maybe four, even six, seven games before we play them. It's looking at personnel, it's looking at plays, it's looking at changes of the team and their tendencies, strengths, and hopefully we find a few weaknesses we can exploit. I think they'd be surprised at how much film they would see myself or Coach Izzo or Coach D'Antonio watch. I mean, it is our lifeline. It is, you know, what we do, especially in our situation where we don't have the depth, where maybe we've lost some key players. You know, what can we do to gain an advantage? How do we have to defend this person so that they, they are not effective on the court that night that give us a little bit of an edge to get the victory? It's a team effort. Jamie Baker, our video coordinator, gets the film from a game. She has a lot of time to log the game, which means offense and defense, and then separate players and then their plays, offense and defense as well. Once we get that, we're watching film and then utilize our graduate assistants to help prepare the scout as well. And then the coach will talk about what's the best way to beat a team, what's the best way to use our players to the best of their ability, and then we go to the floor, and then we also add the scout guys on the floor who help us prepare by being Penn State or Michigan or Indiana for two or three days in practice. So it's a team effort, and I think everybody in this office is involved in it in some way or another. You know, I say to our team all the time, plays don't score, players do. So yeah, we might know the play, but we got to take out their right shoulder, or we got to not let the play come to the middle of the floor. We need to down this ball screen, we need to hard hedge that one, we need to switch these, you know, that kind of thing. So I do think our kids have a lot of confidence in our coaching staff and I think they really believe in the scouts. We prepare the exact same for every team and prepare to win for every team. Uh, the game doesn't ebb and flow, whether it's number one team, number eight team, uh, the 11th team, 12th team in the league. We prepare the exact same and we prepare our team the same way and hopefully we defend the same way. I think no question when we step foot on the floor, we know exactly what's going to happen to us. We prepared for their first play of the game and Maggie Lucas, she always comes under the post for a screen at the top and try, they try to get her the first shot. Right after shoot around I said shift, they run that play but the ball goes into the post. So typically the post defender relaxes because they're looking at Maggie Lucas and the ball goes right into you. So that's you, you have to be prepared for that. And that's what happened, went right into Shift's player, and she defended it, and it was a good stop for us. Sabelle from the right wing. She had Becca Mill streaking through the middle of the lane, through some traffic and some contact, to knock down that jumper. Thomas has her pass knocked away, but it's easily corralled by Schiffauer. Lob down low to Pickrell, double team left block. Her jumper is good, off the glass. And now all six players who have seen the floor for Michigan State have at least one field goal. Pass to Bell on the right wing. Overhead pass to Mills. Comes off a screen, tries a three. Five points for Mills off the bench today. She dribbles it through the backcourt and pushes it up to Clarissa Bell. Bell drives up with the left hand and lays it home. Nice take by Clarissa Bell. Ends a little scoring drought here for the Spartans. The problem with a Penn State is if there can, it can be anybody's game for a couple of minutes and then in a three, four minute span, turn it over a couple times and it's you know, that you can ignite their scoring ability. Michigan State with a basketball. Thomas drives in, tries to hand it off for Hines. And the Spartans down by eight now. Hines with six points in the second half, eight total. Well, we're playing to get in the NCAA tournament, so we have a lot to play for. I mean, in six games, there's a lot of opportunity, you know, for us to do some good things, and there are going to be challenges and tough. So, you know, what are you willing to do? What's the price you're willing to pay? What kind of mental approach can you have? 
it's that time. It's a time where somebody decides that they're going to take the team and go.